Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use one time pad encryption with a Diana table, which makes the process way easier. So, one time pad encryption, if you don't know, is a type of encryption that uh, organizations like the NSA use, and it's unbreakable even against like a fleet of quads and computers, and that's because computers can't uh, really break this uh, type of cipher because they don't have enough information to do so. So, uh, let's begin that process. You're going to think of a plain text message that you're going to be sending to another person, and I'm going to be sending the message secret. Now that's six letters. Your one-time pad key has to be as many letters as the message. So if my message was 20 letters, um, the key would also have to be 20 letters. And you try to make these letters as random as possible and there's like companies out there that make random number generators that are using like atomic um, reactions stuff like that to try to make them as random as possible you want to make that happen and it doesn't matter if there's like repeating letters it's going to happen in a high entropy system anyways so uh, let's start and in order to do this you actually need to encrypt each letter individually one at a time so S is going to be encrypted with X. We're going to use this table to do it. So you're going to look at the big letter up, the big letters on top, and you're going to go all the way to S. And you're going to go down the S column to find the letter of the key, which is going to be X, big letter X. And that small letter next to the X is going to be the letter that you encrypt to. So that is going to be K. And let's do the second letter, just so you can get a feel of this. You're going to go to E. You're going to go all the way down to the big R in that column. And there's an E next to that, so E actually becomes E in this scenario. And that's okay if your plain text message is encrypted, um, if the letter in your plain text message is encrypted to itself, because that can definitely happen. Like, like I said, it's a high entropy system. It's okay if a letter becomes itself because that's going to happen. There's a 1 in 26 chance that one letter is going to be any other letter. So that can definitely happen. How do you de decrypt this? Well, you're going to actually, you're going to look at the key and you're going to look at the encrypted message. So you're going to find X on top of the table and you're going to go down to K. So Let's find x to the top of the table. We go all the way down to, to k, is that you're going to see that um, k becomes an s. So let's put that there, and you would do that for the rest of the letters. And this is a great way to do one time pad, it's probably the easiest way. Um, people actually, intelligence agencies will actually put these into groups of three letters and they'll memorize them. So here's an example of that, and I'll put all this uh, in the description.